welcome by AAS Art Channel. My name is Ilkim Yusma and today I'm not going to talk about this painting yet. This one uh, isn't finished yet but it will be in uh, in a week or two I think and I will have uh, of course a tutorial about this one. But um, today I'd like to show you how I draw this uh, fox in pastels and using the pen pastels uh, for the first time and I really like them so uh, but I will go get uh, into that uh, in a minute. But I don't have the original uh, artwork here at the moment in my studio because it is uh, in a gallery and um, yeah it will be soon also on my channel I will make a uh, little tutorial or little vlog I can say about uh, that, um, that gallery and the little of the, the art show I'm in and I'm a little um, piece of the art show because there are more artists and uh, there are several paintings and drawings of mine so uh, that's that's quite nice because it's uh, my first time and um, yeah I'm uh, really excited about the project so I will tell you more about that in uh, in a couple of weeks I think um, because it, it gonna it does uh, the, the yeah we hope we can start at uh, the 1st of February so I'm not quite sure because there are a lot of things uh, that uh, have to be done at this stage but I will come to that um, in a few weeks. So for today I like to show you how I draw this fuzz in uh, in the pastels and like I said it was the first time using the pen pastels and I really like them. So I hope and you enjoy this tutorial. And like I said I have the full uh, set of the pan pastels and they came with these uh, nice applicators which you see me using here and I uh, especially the blue ones uh, I like uh, very much and uh, also some bigger sponges to uh, get in uh, bigger sections with um, different colors and uh, as usual I start out with the darkest colors and build my way up I will do, do that as also on the fox you will see that in a minute and I'm laboring in the darkest colors first and then building up to the lightest colors and I'm doing that because the lightest colors will show better when you have the darkest dark enough so, so like for example this area around his mouth it shows up quite well it's really nice uh, it's a nice light color of colors I should say and they uh, show up uh, uh, well because I have a uh, dark under layer and also these uh, little circles I'm uh, drawing in the, those show up quite well because the underlayer is dark enough and basically what I'm doing here is blocking in what I uh, what I see on the reference photo so I uh, try to copy the shapes I see and then um, yeah uh, like I said I, I try to copy them as close as I can and uh, if I'm a little bit off it's not that important but I like to uh, to copy the shapes I'm seeing and here you can see that I also did layer in a darker color on a fox and I'm not that um, exactly uh, with blocking in those colors because that will come later on and um, yeah I basically have a uh, I, I um, need a darker color to build up the, uh, the fur like I'm doing here and um, those fur strokes uh, with my uh, which I'm making with the pencils show up quite well because it's dark enough and that's very important that's why I'm uh, repeating that uh, uh, a few times but uh, yeah I have now a nice uh, uh, first base layer where I can, uh, can build up my layers from and if you like I have also a tutorial on uh, this uh, section of the fox in uh, quite some real time so you can see uh, better with, uh, which strokes I'm making with the pencils I will have a up by now, pop up by now so you can uh, see that if you like and uh, yeah it's now it is uh, important to copy this the direction uh, of the fur very well because that will um, let you make the different shapes on his head like for example the, the ear and also the neck uh, the fur in the neck was a bit longer and yeah I have to draw that as um, as long as I see because otherwise I will make shapes with which are not um, in this drawing so the fox would uh, show up uh, very uh, weird I guess <laughs> so that's very very important now I'm building up slowly I'm really watching my reference photo and uh, like always I try to copy what I see and I use quite some oranges in this uh, drawing because the fox has a nice orange uh, coat and also uh, some yellow tints and those go very well but also a purple tint so in my darkest under layers I have a brown black and also a nice uh, reddish purple color and um, yeah that's also personal preference but I like those colors 
and they work really great together so uh, therefore I like to uh, tint the under layers with a bit of dark red and purple and once again it's really important to watch your fur direction here so uh, building up I'm layering in my first strokes and uh, when I uh, do that I also check if I'm correct and when I'm correct I'm gonna build up further so I'm laying in a few lines there I gonna watch my reference photo again if I am correctly and then I'm building up with more colors and I do that because even though I'm making a lot of fur and making a lot of paintings and drawings and I think I know where the fur should go uh, it's so easy to make a little bit um, of a, a mistake so I uh, therefore I'm try to check my work as much as possible even though I watched it five times on a, a on a section I'm gonna watch it again and I want to make that uh, I want to make sure that I'm correctly with the fur and um, yeah that's a, a building process and um, it will cost some time but if you do that correctly it it's uh, worth the effort because in the end it's so so nice to see everything fall together and um, yeah it's uh, worth the effort you lay into it so uh, yeah build up slowly watch your reference photo and um, try to use yeah maybe as many uh, colors as possible and uh, you don't have to overdo it of course but I like to uh, use quite some colors on all those sections that I'm drawing in and um, I'm doing that because it will make uh, the drawing much richer and the colors much more vibrant and uh, like I said the darks and lights are so important and um, I'm also uh, trying to copy the colors uh, on the fur uh, as as closely as I can but I, I'm more aware of the light and the darks and I also uh, like to blend my colors on uh, while I'm drawing so I use uh, the layering techniques I use different colors and I'm blending them with also with um, a next color on top of them and uh, I can do that because I lay in enough of the pigment of the pastels and they can, you can make nice smooth transitions transitions in the fur and that's uh, also uh, very important and for the whiskers uh, you have to have a quite sharp point because uh, that's uh, how you make those nice sharp lines and this is it for uh, for today I hope you like this one I'm uh, yeah it's one of my favorites I really enjoyed drawing this drawing so I hope you uh, like this uh, this tutorial and um, yeah I really like the pen pastel so if you um, have the ability to um, get the pen pastels I think you will not be disappointed at them because they are so beautiful and I hear a lot of uh, artists uh, who are using them um, they are really in love with them and I completely understand why because they work so great and the colors are so great and yeah I also had to wait a few months to, to before I could uh, buy them because they are quite expensive but they will last long term so uh, therefore um, yeah I think it was wor worth waiting and um, yeah, I'm really happy with them so for now I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, if you like you can follow me on Facebook Instagram and on my own website those links will be uh, in the video description and if you like this video or my other videos please subscribe to my channel I would really like that and for now uh, I hope to see you at my next video bye bye